So, Mabel is a care management system that allows people under care and their caregivers to connect, get organized, reminisce, and stay safe. It's also a powerful big data platform for the research community. When users interact with Mabel, data is collected. Researchers can use that data to advance dementia research. We're going to show you three examples. Number one, eye tracking. Mabel can detect when someone is watching the photo slideshow. Mabel then launches an algorithm that can detect facial and eye movement. For demo purposes, the eyeball on screen is showing where the person is watching the slideshow. This data is instantly put into Mabel's database. Researchers have been using eye tracking methods to identify cognitive decline. In fact, with eye tracking, cognitive decline can be identified well before the first symptoms of dementia appear. Now with Mabel, researchers can collect larger and more statistically significant data samples. Number two, machine learning. Mabel monitors contact and will alert the care team of any concerns. So, for example, an alert has just come in on my phone over here, which Rodney is operating, telling me that nobody has called my uncle in the last four days. So I'm going to do something about this and get in touch with him using the Mabel application. So I've just launched a video call, as you can maybe see here. And after this call is complete, all information will be transcribed, recorded instantly into Mabel's database, like the other data, instantly available for use. Hey, how you doing there? Uh, a little tired today, Sam. Brad says you call back on the weekend. Really need a bit more of a break. Using machine learning, researchers can assess cognitive decline and analyze mood trends based on speech pattern recognition. So finally, number three, Mabel can be used for movement tracking. If a caregiver is concerned about the day-to-day -day routine of a person under care, a small waterproof beacon can be sewn into their clothing. So, for example, I'm carrying one such beacon right now, very small and unobtrusive, and as I walk around the room, the data is instantly inputted into Mabel's database again for the caregivers and for the benefit of researchers. Researchers are able to analyze this data, assess the person's movement patterns, and, ad and identify more targeted supports and solutions. So those are just three examples of how Mabel as a software framework can be used in everyday life to gather critical dementia research data. There's so many other possibilities with Mabel than what we have shown you today. Imagine what could result if Mabel data was available to power next year's Dimension Hack ideas. We invite you all, the people worried about living with dementia, caregivers, supporters, governments, researchers, to join us in moving the bar higher and further in making a better life every day with Mabel. Thank you very much. Is the, um, is the information, you know, the eye tracking, speech pattern, and movement tracking, is, is there a, a lack of data uh, currently or right now for researchers? Is that, is that what the problem is? The problem, there are multiple problems right now. Uh, the first is that they require specialized equipment in lab settings. They're trying to find ways of bringing this into the home so they can expand the cohort uh, of study and make it a more natural experience because of course the lab experiences change the natural behavior and tendencies. And why would I use this versus just calling somebody? I mean, what's, is, there, is there an impetus to oh, yes. use the app versus this? Yeah, so what this app does is it's tracking the communication. So for example, for my parents, there's four of us who really do the caregiving. And I don't know that on a certain day all four of us called and then none of us called for five days. Mabel will actually track that and send me an alert to let me know, hey, no one's called mom in three days, better give her a call. And you're supposed to open this app and use it as opposed to just calling. No, you can actually call from a regular phone as well, and that will track um, as long as the person under care is running Mabel on their end. It does track that and provides all of the capabilities. Your uh, eye tracking is limited to only when the patient is looking at the computer? Yes, it is. Can it, it be to TV, for 
example as well? Absolutely. As, we, as the televisions are now getting more programmable, Apple TVs, Android TVs, we certainly see that capability um, emerging. Who do you see managing this data and tracking it and creating reports? Uh, I think that really is a function of a central kind of ethics and organizing group that we would work with and through. And then it's really individual researchers who would kind of apply to that group to get access um, and for us to provide a vehicle and, of course, the right authorization to appropriate users. I have a, another quick question. Uh, it seems that the application of your uh, software is for diagnosis at very early stage or even before the, anybody can yes. be diagnosed. How would you envision that you convince public to use it before they have any okay. symptom? Oh, that's, that's actually what the idea started from. Um, from our care of our own parents and the communication challenges we face, the scheduling with doctors, they don't have yet clear signs of dementia, but they have these needs for coordinated, coordinated family care. They love the stories, the pictures. These sort of capabilities we try and use through fragmented existing tools that are a technical challenge constantly. But also, for, for example, for my mother, she is worried about getting dementia, but she doesn't want to talk to her doctor about it because she's worried she's going to lose her driver's license. So I think that if we were able to explain that there's some diagnostic technology with this new Mabel tool and that there could be some alerts and information coming back to us as caregivers, she'd be quite interested in having a little bit of advance warning. Thank you very much.